Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can set up the Shippo integration. What is a Shippo integration? Well, Shippo will help you to fulfill automatically the shipment of your e-commerce products. It will show your customers the live shipping rates from all the different suppliers, which will help with transparency in the customer journey. Through this Shippo integration, you will gain access to over 40 plus carriers and their live shipping rates. This new integration as the e-commerce store owner helps you to streamline your entire shipping process. It allows you to quickly compare live shipping rates, batch orders, print labels, and automatically fulfill the orders. And last but not least, store owners can also add a markup so they can make some money on the delivery. So first you want to make sure that you have registered with Shippo and get the IPA key from there. Let me show you how to do that. So here we are in our Shippo account. Then you want to click on settings in the top right. Then you want to scroll down to the bottom until you can see API key in the bottom left. Click on that. And here in the middle, you see the live token. Just click on generate token and you're good to go. So this is the only time that you will see your API token. So make sure to copy it right now. If you forget it to copy and you can come back later and create a new token, that is not a problem. Then hit done. Then we want to go to the shipping section under settings still and click on rates at checkout. And here you need to set up the sender address, the packaging template, as well as the weight. So let's click add an address. Let's click edit. After you've added your address, click apply, then click on create a package, create a package template, click on custom dimensions, Let's click on carrier provided parcels. Take the first one, FedEx 10 kilo box, no worries. This is optional, but we're just going to put 10 as well. And we're going to set it as default package template for label purchase. Hit save template. And that's it. We have set up the sender address, the packaging option, including the weight. Now click on add shipping options. Give it a name, give it a description, then select your option type. You can select between live rate, flat rate or free shipping. We're going to select live rate, then click on service. And here you can select what carrier you would like to choose. Let's select the first one, Canada Post expedited parcel. Why not? You can select more here. Okay. So in order to share the comparison and here you can decide if you want to add a markup or a discount. Let's say you want to put 10% markup. If you wanted to give a 10% discount, you select discount. In this case, we're going to select markup and to what price you want to fall back in case the estimated cannot be calculated. It's set to $10 by default. We're just going to keep it as is. You can also change the currency here. We're just going to keep USD for now. Then we're going to hit save. And here you can see our first shipping option has been created. If you wanted to edit it later, you just click on edit. If you wanted to delete it, just click on delete it. Now we want to set up the shipping origin as well as the app inside of our CRM. So to set this up, you want to click on payments on the left, then on settings at the top. And here you can see shipping origin. Click on that, fill in your shipping origin details. And please note, this information will be sent to your Shippo account automatically. Please note if this is not set up, the default address in Shippo's account will be used for that. Then we want to go over to our marketplace and install the Shippo app. So click on app marketplace on the left, type Shippo in the search bar, then the app will show up. Click on the app, click on install, read through the permissions, click allow and install and authentication has been successful. I'm going to close that window. Then you will see this window popping up, which shows you the uninstall button, which signifies to you it has been installed properly. And right here, you have to place your Shippo Live token. In case you're like me and you already lost the token, you just click on API in your shipping account and click generate new token. Then click on copy, click on done, go back to the CRM, click on please input, paste the token and hit continue. Perfect. The token has been connected. If you want to disconnect it, you click on disconnect. Right now we don't want to disconnect it. Down here, it reminds you again, hey, if you want to configure packages templates, you have to do this in your Shippo account. So to remind you, go back to Shippo, scroll back to the top. You can see rates at checkout. These are the shipping options and here's our packaging options. You can either click on manage packages or you create new package options by clicking on package is on the left and here you can again add more package options here you would click on new template and follow the instructions again for example we choose custom dimensions right now in a box let's say our package is 200 wide 200 long and 200 high and that is in centimeters let's say our package is 50 kilo and let's name it 50 kilo 200 centimeters and let's hit save template now you can see the next template showing up here right now okay then we want to click enable live shipping rates and it saves it automatically just to be sure let's click save one more time perfect now let's go back to payments settings at the top click on shipping and delivery then here you have two tabs your rates and also carry and app rates so click on carry and app rates so you can see shippo has been pulled into the system Please note that the live rates can only be enabled if you have set up the shipping and the sender address as well as the packaging templates inside of your 
go shipping account okay click on sender and return and here you can see the location you've set up earlier this is the sending address where we sent the package from as well as where we can receive sent backs and returns and that's it already this is how you integrate the shipper integration so that you can show the live rates to your customers in your e-commerce store i hope you like this new feature and you will see how beneficial showing the live shipping rates to your customers can be because customers like transparency and as we know happy customers will come back in case they want to reorder more i will see you in the next video